Unitree's G1 humanoid robot just landed the world's first side flip, and it's even more impressive in slow motion. Watch that precision, the crouch, the explosive rotation, the perfect landing. Just pure robotic agility, pushing the limits of what humanoids can do. Unitree's AI training is evolving faster than expected. Just last year, their H1 model was setting records with a backflip. Now, the smaller, more compact G1 is pulling off even harder maneuvers with scary consistency. But that's not even the wildest part. Wait until you see. How this robot survives real-world chaos. Full breakdown starts now. Okay, first things first. Unitree's March 21st demo shows the G1 performing what martial artists call a kip-up. That smooth transition from lying flat to standing in one explosive motion. What makes this impressive is seeing the robot's entire body coordinate perfectly. Legs coiling like springs, torso engaging at just the right moment to generate the rotation needed to land squarely on its feet. There's no editing tricks here. You're watching the raw physics of a machine that understands how to manipulate its own mass. The Tai Chi portion reveals something even more subtle. While flashy flips get attention, slow controlled movements are actually harder for robots. The G1 mirrors its human partner with remarkable fluidity. You can see it constantly making tiny weight shifts and balance adjustments that would be imperceptible if not for how perfectly they match the human's rhythm. It's not just copying positions, but actually moving with the same organic quality as its partner. Now consider the recent crazy standing side flip. Unlike a backflip where momentum carries you backward, a side flip requires controlling rotation along a completely different axis. The robot's preparation is fascinating to watch. It's more than a simple squat and jump. First, it shifts weight to one leg while the other prepares to push off, then uses its arms for both balance and rotational torque. During the flip itself, it tucks precisely to maximize rotation speed, then extends at exactly the right moment to stick the landing. The whole sequence happens in just 1.2 seconds, yet contains dozens of micro-adjustments we're only seeing thanks to slow-motion replays. Before we carry on, hit that like button to prove you're not a robot. Let's shift gears to something with a bit more edge, that jaw-dropping 15-second disarm sequence. Watch closely as this plays out in real time. At the three-second mark, the depth cameras lock onto the stick's position with surgical precision. By the seventh second, it's already running calculations, assessing grip strength, measuring distance, and plotting the perfect attack angle while its human opponent is still adjusting their stance. Then comes the money shot at 12 seconds. The robot feints backward just slightly, baiting its opponent into overextending before unleashing that devastating spinning kick. The foot connects with the exact center mass of the stick. Maximum efficiency, minimum wasted motion. But here's what most people miss in the excitement. The instant reset. The G1 doesn't celebrate its victory. It immediately drops into a balanced ready stance, prepared to counter any follow-up attack. This shows its tactical thinking unfolding in real time. That viral kung fu demo wasn't just for show. What started as stylized martial arts evolved into something far more functional, a precise tactical disarm. Interestingly, Unitree engineers later revealed the kick intensity is actually adjustable based on threat assessment, though they've wisely capped the demo version at purely symbolic force levels. Makes you wonder what else this system is capable of when pushed to limits. Next, the push recovery tests reveal even more subtle brilliance. When shoved from behind at 1.5 miles per second walking speed, the G1 doesn't exactly widen its stance. It actually takes two micro steps, the first to absorb the impact, the second to reposition its center of gravity, all while using arm movements for counterbalance. The entire recovery sequence takes 0.8 seconds, but contains over 30 individual joint adjustments. Yes, as impressive as it sounds, the blinded recovery is even more amazing. With a bag over its head, the G1 first uses inertial sensors to determine its prone position. Then it executes a modified judo roll, left arm tucking while the right pushes, creating enough clearance for the legs to swing under the body. These are real-time calculations happening at 200 hards, five times faster than human reflex speeds. This level of dynamic control suggests we're approaching a tipping point where robots can handle unstructured environments as well as controlled labs. 
The G1's dancing abilities feel like a natural progression from what we saw with Unitree's H1 robots during that spring festival performance. Remember those 16 H1 bots in red jackets nailing the Yanko folk dance? That was impressive coordination, perfectly synced spins and handkerchief tosses in a tightly choreographed routine. But here's where the G1 moves things forward. While the H1's executed pre-programmed dance moves, the G1 is attempting to maintain its routine while handling unexpected disruptions. In that February demo, when the G1 keeps dancing despite soccer balls rolling into its path or getting nudged with a padded stick, we're seeing the next step beyond the h one stage performance. It's not just about hitting predetermined marks anymore, it's about adapting in real time. That said, as Unitree admits, this recovery ability is still fresh out of development and not yet available to customers. The progression makes sense. First you master perfect choreography, then you work on maintaining that performance amid real-world chaos, exactly where the G1 is headed. It shows Unitree's approach to building complexity, layer by layer, from scripted shows to potentially autonomous adaptation. Let's peel back the curtain on how the G1 pulls off these feats. It all starts in NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator, essentially a virtual training gym where the robot practices moves like that side flip thousands of times before ever attempting them physically. The magic happens through Sim 2 Real, short for Simulation to Reality Transfer, where AI gradually refines movements in simulation until they're ready for the real world. This means when you see that perfect flip, it's not manually coded, it's the result of machine learning optimization. These capabilities are backed by Unitree's usual hardware, 23 degrees of freedom for fluid, human-like articulation, 3D LiDAR for spatial awareness, and a compact design that folds down for storage. With a top walking speed of 4.5 miles per hour, yes, faster than my lazy Sunday jog, and hot swappable batteries, this is designed for practical use beyond lab demos. Unitree is pushing progress further by open sourcing their LAFAN1 motion dataset sharing movement data that could help researchers worldwide develop more natural robotic motions. It's only a matter of time now. Now, the G1 couldn't just make headlines for its engineering. It had to become a meme first, or should I say, sad meme. Enter Twitch streamer Kai Sanat, who treated his $70,000 robot like a frat house punching bag. The viral clip shows him shoving the poor robot while it stumbles around like a confused butler, equal parts hilarious and slightly uncomfortable. Internet reactions were split. Half the viewers cried, robot abuse, while others wondered if this was just an elaborate skit. Spoiler, Unitree's developers definitely didn't include take abuse from influencers in the product roadmap. What's funny is how the robot's very human-like stumbles made CNAT look like a bully. The G1's awkward stumbles triggered genuine viewer discomfort, which is telling. Are we subconsciously reacting to how human-like its struggles appear? It raises an interesting dilemma. At what point does messing with robots stop being funny and start feeling kinda messed up? Especially when these machines might soon be co-workers, caregivers, or companions. Maybe we should figure that out before the next viral robot abuse challenge takes off. So what do you think? Is the G1's progress legitimately impressive, or are we just one software update away from it politely asking us to step aside? Maybe you're somewhere in between. Either way, let's hear your take in the comments. And if you're into these weird, fascinating crossroads where robots meet real life, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter. And remember, be nice to your future robots, just in case. Catch you next time.